The indexation of hex debts is becoming fairer for the more than 3 million Australians with these types of loans. The system is changing after pressure on government to respond to the university's Accord Final Report and ease the hex burden that students currently face. Um, it was only until a few months ago did I realise that um, not only was my hex debt large, which is what I was expecting, but it has started to increase before I'm even provided the opportunity to start paying it off. So as a full-time student, um, I don't have time to start full-time work. And the work that I am doing on the side is, is going towards cost of living expenses, um, not, not towards HECS because I, I can't afford it. I often chat with my friends about it and they're worried about it as well, um, more specifically looking at how we're going to be able to afford homes in the future uh, because it's significantly reducing our borrowing power from the banks. I came across Dr Monique Ryan's video on Instagram about how we can come together and try to push for changes for the, from the government. Um, and she suggested that we write into um, the Education Minister, Jason Clare. And that's when I thought, okay, why don't I just write a letter? And I wrote um, a letter with, you know, just highlighting the importance of this issue. Phoebe also mentioned the tough situation for students going into healthcare professions, who will graduate with one of the biggest hex debts. In just one day, her entire physiotherapy cohort signed the letter. I emailed Monique just, just to thank her actually, to say thank you for doing what she does. She's an amazing advocate for student voices. And so I reached out to her and her team and they got back to me and um, said that Monique really liked that I wrote the letter. And so she created this video um, and that was really exciting for me. I didn't realize it would blow up like this. And that's when she started the, her petition. Monique's petition gained the support of fellow Teal politicians like Zali Stegall, the independent member for Baringa. It's one of those things I think that the indexation of HEX has flown under the radar whilst inflation was low, so it didn't really jar. And now all of a sudden you're really seeing the impact of it and it's incredibly unfair. HEX and help debt impacts anyone that returns to university to retrain, um, and then is in the workforce trying to pay off that debt. So this is impacting a lot of people and I'm very aware of how much that weighs on young people's mind in terms of choosing choice of subjects and choice of courses and decisions around postgraduate study as well. Over 288,000 Australians signed the petition and it was successful. $3 billion will be wiped from student debts and the indexation rate will change to the lower of the consumer price index or the wage price index. But there's still more to do about indexation. It's just in principle wrong that the ATO can withhold certain pay, not apply it to reduce an amount, but apply you know, an, an, an interest or an indexation to that debt. While there haven't been any announcements about changing the date when indexation happens, the reforms are definitely a step in the right direction and the petition just goes to show the power of people coming together and raising their voices. It's really nice to be able to speak up and make a difference and say, hey, this is, we're actually real people and these are our lives that you're affecting. You can disrupt the major parties when it comes to politics and decision making. Jessica O'Brien, Central News.